before we have the speakers coming in, I would, I would, I would like to request our principal madam, Professor Harpreet Kaur, to uh, say a few words and address us and inaugurate today's session. Good morning, everybody. Uh, now, this uh, session, as Radhika has explained, is specifically on history. And history, as I uh, understand, is an important link to the present and future. So we have to understand the historical perspective of each thing, whether it is the you know, labor or education or history or pandemics, uh, so that you can, we can have lessons in the present and, and the future. So this session is going to be very, very uh, vibrant because it is very comprehensive. As such, we have kept this uh, whole uh, you know, webinar series as very comprehensive. We have covered very different topics uh, and uh, the impact of pandemic on these various facets. And today we have labor education and history of pandemics. And for that, we have three eminent speakers with us, uh, Dr. Prabhu Mahatpatra, uh, Anirudh Gishpande, and also Dr. Vikas Sita. And I welcome a very, very warm welcome to all, all three of you. Welcome, sir. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, and also all the participants who are here, and uh, of course my team who has been working day and night for it. Uh, now, as I understand that this is not an just a medical emergency, but it's also amounting to be economic emergency. In, and mostly in the, you know, countries like India, where you know a lot of problems are there, a different set of problems are there. And so two months of lockdown, when we have uh, you know, all the economic activities at a standstill, you know, the factories are closed, the markets are closed, uh, there's disruption in work and wages and income is not there. And you know, um, so uh, so uh, GDP is you know affected very adversely, and that we all know. And regarding the labor, we have seen various you know uh, various phenomena. You know, migrant labors, whether we saw it in Delhi, at, uh, Anand Bihar, or at Maharashtra, there's a lot of resentment, and they could not even you know um, just uh, you know uh, so, so you can survive these two months uh, without. And they, because they are you know based on these daily wages. And, uh, and a lot of people uh, in India are in this category, whether they are the garbage collectors or small uh, shops, they sales persons or laborers who are working in the construction or, uh, you know, on transport, painters, housekeeping, domestic help. And uh, and also, you know, hotel people, you know, hotels, you know, who are serving in the, in the hotels and all. And now that restaurants and hotels are closed, they are actually, you know, um, you know where to go. And so now they are, of course, receding back uh, to their own, uh, you know, confines or their home uh, or their home, uh, you know, home uh, states. Uh, but is this the solution that we have to see? This mass exodus is it going to lead to more problems, or you know, it's going to solve their problems? It is yet to be seen because if they go there and work, what will they do? That is also not very clear to them. How much the government can address those concerns? That is another very, you know, major issue as far as Indian economy is concerned. So uh, now uh, these tax transfers and tax benefits, how much it is going to help them, it is yet to be seen. So migrant laborers who are the backbone of, you know, small and macro and medium enterprises also, uh, they also have to go after opening up. For example, you know, they'll have to work, uh, of course, but work with uh, social distancing or physical space distancing. We can <coughs> or uh, they, they'll have to wear the gloves, mask, and you know, uh, also take some breaks for san sanitization, you know, that, that is very important. So all these measures have to be taken by them uh, time and again. And uh, regarding this, uh, you know, migrant labors and how, how uh, you know, they are reacting to this situation, uh, this was very interesting to it by Ivanka Trump, who's, uh, I think we all have read about it, that she commented on this uh, you know, the girl, 15 year girl, Jyoti Kumari, who has carried her wounded father to almost 100 kilometers. Uh, she cycled and, uh, you know, took her father there. So it is very surprising that how much, you know, uh, that willpower and that strength is there that they are walking uh, miles and miles just to reach their homes. And uh, so I don't know what will happen there because they are still they don't have any income source of income. What will they do there? But yet you know uh, they uh, they want to go to their homes. So uh, what is required now in this present circumstances that we have to collect data and to work uh, workers related data, especially Pan India. 
and you know also state wise so that we can do something for them and uh, it, we have to reach them uh, reach out to them to help them for example with food cash and you know health services shelter and whatever thing or whatever we can give them so it is very important that the india you know or indian government and also indian community or indian citizens reach out to these people who are in large number and again as i repeat that they are the backbone of our economy also so well being of workers is very important now as far as education sector is concerned what i understand is education sector is uh, you know total transformation is there in education sector the schools are on still in a very different manner colleges are on uh, all these technologies were there earlier also but we never experimented with it we never realized that we could do many things with it now that you know chalk and talk uh, you know system of uh, delivery of lectures and all is now replaced by total digital transformation why because you know what is happening is that education sector is very large the number of students is very large and that is why you know a lot of impact is there so now but again a lot of problems are there because many people do not ha have access to this digital technology whether it is the low income especially they don't have uh, access to the, this technology some people are not conversant with it so what is now required is also the capacity building we have to do some kind of capacity building in the future so that we are conversant and with the with this kind of digital transformation or digital technologies uh, regarding the history of pandemics as, as i understand history pandemics were there even in prehistorical times and we have also you know examples where you know whole civilizations have wiped out because of pandemics or um, plague of athens for example when the sparta and athens uh, athens war was going on uh, that uh, you know this pandemic also this plague also you know uh, affected large number of people or great plague of london or philadelphia yellow fever which was you know um, uh, raised because of, uh, of because of the mosquitoes and when the mosquitoes died then you know this plague uh, this uh, the yellow fever also just uh, you know erased so uh, spanish flu of course we you know during the uh, first world war and again swine flu which is more recent one or ebola and zika and all these kind of you know we have been having but still we were not prepared we had have had you know pandemics uh, for quite some time but still you know we were not prepared for it and that is the by and large for all the countries whether it is us or the european countries or india uh, we were not at all prepared and so uh, and one of the problems which i see is also because from 1970 uh, from last 50 years i think the life expectancy which was just 29 years that time uh, has you know that you know in the 19th century has changed and in last 50 years we have also doubled the population so these are various major uh, reasons why this pandemic has a very uh, invasive kind of a, you know a character because you know uh, the whole issue of globalization that we are just a global village and similarly here we are all globally affected by this so we have to understand and you know um, try to find ways and measures to come out of it so uh, unlock down and you know the you know, post lockdown issues are very important so with these words i was i invite my speakers uh, to speak uh, on the you know detailed on these uh, topics uh, thank you very much साहित्यिक विषयों पर चर्चा परिचर्चा का यह दौर निरंतर जारी रहेगा तब तक के लिए धन्यवाद